Okay, so we want to find what is 3, 3 to the power 2003 modulo 99. So if we're going to do this by hand, we're going to have to do the expansion of 2003. So 2003, if we do that whole div mod thing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off here with A0, A1, A2, and go down. And the way that you do this is you just simply you, you take the mod and the div, and if it's odd, really, if, it's, if, it's, if you're doing mod base 2, if it's odd, write a 1. Then take away the 1 and then cut it in half. So that's odd, so therefore write a 1. What's half of 2002? So that's 1,001. That's odd. One. And so what's half of 1,000? That's even. Half 500? 250. 250. Even. Half 250? That's odd. What's half of 124? 62. Which is even. And then 31 which is odd, half a 30, 50. 15, which is odd, and then half 14, seven. 7, which is odd, half 6, three. 3, which is odd, half of 2. And so if I would write this as, if we would go on ahead and write this as a base 2, you would write it that way, right? You would start at the bottom and we have one, two, three, four, five. So one, 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 two, three, four, five. And then zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, all in base two. So pretty straightforward to go through this and we so we have those particular expansions and then we look at the algorithm and the algorithm simply goes through this and say, okay, we're going to look at the base. The base is 3, right? If we look through the algorithm, the, the very first thing you do is, you know, they have x. x here is what your answer is. And so we look at, we could replace that, you know, I was using answer instead of power, I was using inside, right, as we go through that. And so what we're making here is a table. And so you want to do this. This here I just wanted to kind of show that's not necessary, right? Um, that's already in this particular form. So, mm, tools, eraser, let's do, delete the whole stroke so that just simply goes away. And then we can go ahead and make this thing a table. And what we'll do is we'll start off here and we'll talk about the inside, which is for the algorithm, for what they wrote. You know, they call that the power. And what they call x is what I'm calling the answer, right? So they start off with 1. And the power or the inside, they take b mod m. And so we're mod 99, so it's 3 mod 99, which is 3. Right? And so that's, then we start to go through here. And we start off and we go through and handle... Because this was a power of 2, right? This is all factored. So we start off on the right-hand side, which is A0, which, since it's nice, it's already in the order I want, top to bottom. And so I say, hey, look, um, if it's a 1, then our answer is going to change. Is that a 1? Yes, yeah, so our answer is going to change. And the answer is our old answer times the power and then take the mod. What's 1 times 3? Three? 3. Three. What's 3 mod 99? So what happened is because this is a 1, I take those two and multiply, we multiply it and then take the mod 99 to get to that. Is everybody okay with that? All we do is we take our old answer, multiply by our inside, mod, because that's what we're doing. We just keep multiplying by what we need to do. Why do we take the modulus? Because I don't want it to grow. I want it to stay less than that. And so, and then the very next thing we do no matter what I could actually go ahead and form all of the powers because they all have to be done anyways. This entire column can be handled because all it is is the square of the above mod 99. The square of that mod 99. 
Okay, so what's the square of 3? What's 9 mod 99? 9. nine. What's 9 squared? 81. 81. What's 81 mod 99? 81. So all we're doing is we're squaring mod, squaring mod as we keep going down. Now, this is where we actually get to pull things off to the side. And you'd say, okay, what's 81 squared? You'd go over here and say, okay, to make this whole entire table, all right, what's 81 times 81? All right, that is an 81, and that's an 8. What's an 8 times 8? 64, right? And so it's 1, 16, so 6, 5, 6, 1. That's 81 squared. So 81 squared was 6, 5, 6, 1, right? But I don't want to do stop there. I'm, I want to do what? Mod 99, which is 27. So, all right, 27. Let's see if anybody else has already done this. What's 27 squared? We could do all this the long way. We're going to run out of class time. All right. And so what's 27 squared? 729. And 729 mod 99? 36. 36. 36 squared? 1,296. Mod 99? 9. Okay. What's nice is you're usually going to get, you're going to get a cycle of some sort. And once you hit your cycle, I don't have to do any more arithmetic, right? Because 9, so this pattern will always follow. It goes 9, 81, 27, 36, 9, 81, 27, 36, 9, 81. And really, we don't need to do this one, right? But might as well do it. 27. So that's my table. That's just the inside stuff. Okay? Now, so all that stuff's here. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all of it. You want to keep your scratch, but anyways. Now, how does the answer work? If it's a 1, you go up above, you say, well, wait a second, my answer's going to change. It's going to be the power that I have times the answer, mod 99. And so what always happens is if this is a 1, because this is a 1, this and this multiply, making that. Because this is a 1, this and this multiply, making that, which is going to be what? It's going to be 27. That's a 0. What does that mean? Just copy. Just copy. Because what is the 0? The 0 is the power, right? Anything to the 0 power is 1, so I'm multiplying it by 1. Nothing's going to change. All right? Uh, that's a 1. So what's going to happen? And what's 972 mod 99? 81? 81. 81. Yay. What does that say? Zero. That zero means what? We just copy it down. So it's an 81. And now here comes a, a nice thing that all of a sudden this magically will work out. That's a 1. So that is? 81 squared mod 99. I've already done 81 squared mod 99. What is 81 squared mod 99? 27. That's a 1. So these that's 27 squared, which becomes 36, because I've already done it. That's a 1. 36 squared mod 99. I've already done it. That's a 9. That's a 1. That makes that an 81. That's a 1. 81 squared mod 99. 27, done. Now, there were some computational things I needed to do, like, you know, like 81 squared, 27. What is the worst number that you're going to deal with here? What is the largest number that will occur? 98 times 98, right? Because that's, when you do a mod 99, that's the biggest number it will ever spit out. So the worst thing that could happen is you have to know 98, 98, mod 99 which will spit out a number between 0 and 98. And so you have to do some a little bit of arithmetic, but this is how the table flows. And what will always happen is cyclical, right? Eventually this pattern starts to develop, and you, only ha you don't have to do all of the comp Well, unless the cycle is a lot longer than what you're being asked. But you'll start to see things that you've already multiplied. <coughs> this is the easiest way to, to work that out, is to write it in a table like this. 
And notice here, this bottom 27 wasn't necessary. Why? Because I have my answer, right? I've already used up all my number. I don't, these, the power needs to be used to form the number below. There is no number below. Thank you. Can you see how this is a very good candidate for writing a program? It's just a straightforward power mod. You know, to do this, you need to do modulus. You need to do a normal base two expansion. Can you also tell that I actually could have, instead of finding this entire thing and then making the table, could you notice that as I as I did my expansion, as I found a zero, once I had this line, that's an odd. I had enough to be able to get to this part. And then I can do divide by two, is it even or odd? Now I can find that part. So I don't need to find the entire expansion before I make the table. I can find the expansion and the table at the same time because it grows from top to bottom. So you can make this into a single loop. Okay. 